Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now this is the second part of a two-part video. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will leave a link up here. You'll really enjoy that video as well, so please go ahead and check that out. The second one that I created with my friend is this one. This is actually hers. Um, we actually made it a little different from mine. There's actually two different papers that I put on top of the canvas, so this is actually not painted on the canvas, it's actually paper. It kind of almost looks like it pops out of the canvas and that was the idea we were going for. And the lens part is just another paper that we use that is just so cool looking. So if you'd like to see how I created it, please keep watching. These are the materials that you will need. You will need glue, I'm using a spray adhesive. Your image printed on three cardstock paper and four more plain cardstock paper. Scissors, tape, pencil, ruler, really pretty paper for your lenses, some paint, your canvas, and paint brushes. I also used wax paper to put my paint on and a cup of water for my brushes. So we're going to work on our gray background first. So first I'm going to add some white paint to my wax paper and then I'm going to add a little bit of black. And I'm not going to add too much, I'm just going to keep the rest on the side just so that I can mix it and see if that's the right amount of gray that I want. If not, I will just add some more until I get the correct gray that I want for my background. This is the same step as my previous video that I did, so if you haven't seen it, please click on the eye and you can watch that after this. Here I'm just using a butter knife just to get off the excess paint off of my brush so that when I go onto my canvas, I get a nice, thin, smooth layer. Now you just want to brush this color all over your canvas and don't forget the sides. Now just set this aside for it to dry. So I put down some plastic because we're going to be using the spray adhesive now and I'm actually going to glue on two more cardstock paper to the image that we have. Then just go ahead and repeat this step with the other cardstock that has the image as well. That way after this you will have two sets of thick paper with the image on it. Now with some red paint and a small brush, I'm going to go ahead and take one of the sets that I just glued and paint in my frames. You can choose any color you want to. You can actually even paint them two different colors. Um, you just want to go ahead and paint in just the frame part and leave the spaces in between. And you don't have to stay within the lines because we're going to be cutting it later. And then just set it aside for it to dry. Now with the last card stuck with the printout that we have that has no attachment to it, we didn't do anything with this paper, just go ahead and cut out the lenses. I just went ahead and marked my lenses 1 and 2 just so if I need to refer to it later, I can. Now that the paint is dry, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the outside of the frame on the set that's painted and the set that is not painted. Now that my images are cut up, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the spaces in a little bit. So basically I've already done that with my second set as you can see. I'm just bringing that cut in a little bit to where the lens is and that way you can keep the image still intact. Thank you. 
So basically I just cut the little spaces and then bring that paper to the bottom and then once I've done that I'm just going to go ahead and cut that piece off. Now just place one of the sets onto your canvas and go ahead and trace the image out leaving the spaces where the spaces are cut out. Now just go ahead and glue the two sets of frames together. Now that both sets are attached, I'm going to take my red paint and paint the outside of my frame and inside where the cuts are. Originally, I was going to just glue the entire frame onto my canvas and put the lens over so that you can see the cutout and everything looks neat. But I decided that I wanted a space between the lens and the frame as well. So you just want to go ahead and cut out the little pieces of the frame and place them onto the canvas. Use the outline that you made on the canvas as a guideline for where the pieces would go and just adjust the spaces as you would like it and then once you like how it looks just go ahead and glue it down onto the canvas. Now I'm going to take the lenses that I cut out before and since I want my lens and my frame to have a space in between I'm just going to make my lenses a little bit smaller by cutting out the outer edges. And as you can see, I have two amazing books holding down my frame onto my canvas while the glue hardens. I will leave a link to these books in my description if you are interested. I'm going to use this beautiful rainbow cardstock paper for my lens and I'm just going to turn it over and use the stencils that I cut out before and turn that over as well and trace it out so I can go ahead and cut it out. And once that's cut out, just glue them onto your canvas, leaving the spaces. Once the glue dries, you have this amazing, amazing wall art. I love how the frame is kind of popping off the canvas a little bit. And I love how the lenses have this really cool color changing effect. I am in love with this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this was a really cool twist on how to create an image like this to make it pop out of the canvas the way that it does. I think it looks so cool. And especially when you walk by, it looks so, so cool because the colors change. So please do give it a try. Um, all the materials are easy to find. I'll leave a link to it in my description. So grab a friend or family and create some really cool artwork. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. I thank you guys so much. I love you. Bye. So trippy.